My name's Jennifer West, and I'm an artist, and I'm here to talk about Ed Ruscha's work titled Stains. It's from 1969, and it's a book that is also a portfolio, and it's comprised of 75 um, stained pieces of paper that are stained with organic materials. So and essentially, he was creating this puzzle between the written word and the graphic word in relationship to an organic material. Sort of great about them, and what I really love about it is some of it you just can't see. What does that mean? Especially, I think, in, a, in such a visual culture where we really rely on a visual image um, as proof that something took place. So there's just something very funny when you're trying to see this uh, stain, but you can't, like this one, number nine, you can't see at all. Um, and number nine is spot remover. So that's kind of funny. This one's really interesting because this is probably the largest stain, but it also ate through the paper. So there's a hole in the center. And when you look at what this is, this is sulfuric acid. When you encounter them one by one, you do start to produce something that has a timeline, essentially. That started to get really interesting because we started to see this sort of day laid out. These are the remnants or sort of stains that you might see in an artist's studio. For example, it starts out with tap water and uh, sort of antiseptic, turpentine. So you kind of imagine you're in the studio, but really early on, say number 12, you see that there's sperm, and then in parentheses, human, um, there's an interspersing of things like pepper sauce with um, paint, with chocolate syrup, with um, varnish, uh, with lacquer, et cetera. So you just see this back and forth between art materials and um, these kinds of bodily materials, whether they're food or urine or sperm, et cetera. Um, and then at the very end, um, on the inside of the box, there's silk, and it says blood of the artist. So there's this kind of play on what it means to be an artist and the stereotype of the artist overall, um, of this sort of male artist working in their studio and the things that might, they might do throughout the day, whether it's eating, drinking, masturbating, um, and sort of the creation of artwork. But the lovely thing about it is how it's really intermixed with this uh, sort of things that you overlook from daily life.